Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode in Civilization 6. In the previous episode, we ended over in one of these corners because I skillfully over-recorded and had to record a, an end halfway through the episode. Well, you know, at the end of the episode to be back put into the uh, middle of the previous episode. So, <laughs> we uh, we join you again in said corner because I can still no lo I still can't show you what the uh, situation up there is. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we'll <laughs> well I'll uh, let you. S well, okay, I've I've already recorded this stuff, so. Uh, can't say I'm going to go off and do something because I've already done it. So time to show it to you. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, um, I'll see you when you uh, have caught up with my time stream. Ah, the French. <laughs> uh, what fools! Little do they know they'll be next. <laughs> uh, little did they know they had already denounced us. <laughs> uh, whatever. Anyway. We have a new opportunity. Let's see. So, how to do this, how to do this. I'm going to move you there. And I'll move you. Oh, I, I, I saw that spiky thing and I was getting worried, but it's a, uh, it's just that guy. <laughs> Actually, that might not have been such a great idea. He's not uh, very healthy. <laughs> yeah, not very healthy at all. However, he'll uh, sort of survive, maybe. <laughs> There's a faint possibility of his survival. Okay. Well, you can scooch. That'll get an adjacency bonus for that guy. And then... I guess... I don't know. You can go there and... Oh, I can't actually move him. Huh. Looks like I lost track of his turns. <laughs> uh, truth production. Oh yeah. Well, I'm not going to bother with more hoplites. Let's get a library. <laughs> I think this, uh, this, this war seems, uh, fairly well won. At least, um, for the moment. So, I'll get back to you when I start storming Pavroka. Or, Pokrovka. Whoops. <laughs> First strike. <laughs> The city is under siege. Oh, that did a lot of damage to my guy. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you move there. Then you can take some, uh... Take an attack, take some swings. Maybe I should have healed them first. <laughs> They'll be fine. <laughs> and that guy can sit there because he's so damaged. Okay, you... Um... Boost their uh, attack and defense. You. Uh, pillage the road. <laughs> and you. Hmm. Yeah, you you can take some uh, take some swings as well. All right. <laughs> That's good. This guy was not nearly as, uh, useful as I was hoping. <laughs> Turns out it's not a ranged unit. Um, um, oh, this poor decision has become your, uh, good fortune. Excellent. Got me a builder. <laughs> okay. Unit needs orders. Oh yeah, this guy. Hmm. Major victory, huh? Well... With, with a with a deal like that, I can't refuse. <laughs> okay. I think that's, uh... Oh yeah, let's, uh... Actually, let's... Link these guys. <laughs> and their, uh, their settler went off that way. So, I'm gonna follow. <laughs> now, I do need food and amenities for my other cities. So... Probably following this one. Well, actually, here, have some food, buddy. <laughs> Did that make it better? I don't know. <laughs> I think they, uh, I think they both might have needed food, so regardless, I want the tiles, and they're pretty cheap. Ooh, that's quite a deal. 
<laughs> Alright. Well, hopefully that helped a little. We can start actually working on some stuff for that, uh, that sort of thing pretty soon. Uh, aha! No growth occupied. Huh. And insufficient amenities. Hmm. Well, that one I can't help so easily. I could buy this one eventually. And that gets silk, a luxury resource, that's amenities, so yeah. I'll go with that eventually. In the meantime, we're still going with Pavroka. <laughs> Whoa. Saka horse archers. This could be problematic. Okay, so we're going to retreat temporarily because I don't want to slaughter all my hoplites. And that's going to ideally get us out of the range of these guys, which look kind of beefy and nasty. <laughs> okay, I've arranged some stuff. Let's see what they uh let's see how they react. <laughs> they react with an approach, huh? <laughs> hey, poor little Archie Poo. Poor little Archie Poo. <laughs> I see. Oh, there's more archers. Oh, right, that's just the city center. Never mind. <laughs> okay. Well, that's something. Uh, you skip. <laughs> what was that? Okay. So, this thing. Why did you do that? Uh, if you, darn it, can't move him. Okay, if you move there, and you move there, then that gets us a large number of bonuses for these two. And, oh. <laughs> okay. Well, at least he can attack. <laughs> How'd that do? 81 damage for 10 damage. Nice. <laughs> I can live with that ratio. And you... I could just pillage the road again. <laughs> yeah, might as well. Although the faith doesn't really do much for me since I can't buy anything with it. <laughs> okay, you can move there. And my duo here can move over one. Try and find that settler that ran off. <laughs> and we'll see how things go from here. Alright. We are now about to see what the, uh... What the... Ooh, the other one's come back. Hmm. I don't know if this is... They've still got 85 to my 300, but... We're uh, looking to lose a couple minions here. Make peace. Two hundred. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Well, I could do this, then plan a second attack. <laughs> yep. I think that's probably the uh, the best choice here because that doesn't lose me any minions, and that means that we have obtained greater knowledge in the uh -huh, go away, go away. <laughs> uh -huh. So that means that we don't lose any minions here. We only lost one in the entire war, I think. So we can heal up, then slaughter them again. <laughs> so yeah, we'll uh, we'll plan for that. In the meantime, I need to continue pr my pursuit of that uh, lump, and I guess sort of uh, sort of plan what's going to happen. We can put a, a small force around this these mountains here into their place, and that would come from both sides at them, and that would also allow us for a greater surface area on our mass, <laughs> which would uh, 
get us more adjacency bonuses because anything trapped outside can't attack and you know um, so I think that's probably the best way of doing this maybe four of them is a good number so yeah that sounds pretty decent there these four will go in from that end and then the ones here I just sort of want them to sit tight wait for a little while heal up and get me uh, get me the the win eventually <laughs> pillage road all right apparently pillaging a road does not require your uh, uh, does not require any um, what am I trying to say doesn't require war <laughs> which is kind of nice unit available for promotion oh. I need to take a look at that when I've uh, when I've uh, got another turn. Aha! We get to choose a Pantheon. <laughs> See, this one, uh... This one I don't really understand too much. I think this is... Well, uh, this is the religion stuff, obviously. It says right there. <laughs> However, uh... I don't really know quite how most of this works. I do have some ideas, but... You know, not too much. <laughs> Harvesting resources or removing a feature receives faith. Uh, I'm going to go with this one, actually. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully that did something. I don't really understand that stuff. Alright then, most of our troops have healed. And I'm going to, uh, yeah, ooh, I can ask for a promise, huh? <laughs> Alright, anyway, I'm going to deal with her a little bit later. I'm trying to de decide whether I want to denounce her or try and make a demand. I could make a demand and then denounce her <laughs> or something, I don't know. Anyway, I have, uh, I have kept moving my little archer guy over here. And he is, uh, still moving. Anyway, uh, he hasn't found anything yet. However, we have organized our troops around the border of the, uh, Scythians. <laughs> and likewise over here, in two little groups trying to, trying to get a pincer movement. I'm pretty sure I could take them out in one fell swoop at this point, but, you know. <laughs> time to uh, time to gather our strength together for the uh, for the big pounce. <laughs> so we do have, however, get to pick a couple new productions here. This one is still weak because they apparently don't know how to uh, how to raise a city raise a city. <laughs> uh huh. However, it seems the most vulnerable, so I'm tempted to uh, do something like walls. But I think probably our military might is just too much for the Scythians at this point. <laughs> There's no point in us protecting ourselves, wasting time like that. So instead, I want to probably just get another hoplite going. That'll probably be done sometime during the during the war, <laughs> so it can replace a uh, a lost unit ideally. Um, you can fortify. Oh, you can skip your turn. You can fortify. You can fortify. <laughs> and you. Ah, uh, now this one's tricky. Oh, I see the Scythians. I see their newly founded city over there. <laughs> Soon to be, uh, to be overrun. Alright. Okay. Oh yeah, I need, a, I need some iron mines. Just realized that. <laughs> I actually have a couple locations for iron mines, right? Pretty sure all along there, three of them are pretty good. However, I don't actually have any gold, so that's not an option at the moment. I do uh, I do want to get another trade route, trade route, which I'm currently doing over here, but other than that, that's pretty much it. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to keep just uh, just preparing for the for the big push and I'll see when that starts happening probably unless something interesting happens. Alright, <laughs> I have, uh, I have decided to begin the dealing with her. <laughs> I could denounce her. I 
could ask for a promise. Ooh, could, aw. <laughs> uh, declare, declare a surprise war. Uh? Oh, okay. Well, I could make a demand. <laughs> Which city? Um, that's the capital, so they're less likely to give me that one. I want, I want to ask for cool, oob, cool oba, cool oba. I don't know. <laughs> Make demand, cool oba. Demand. <laughs> I see. How about I make a deal? How about you? Okay. Okay, 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 fine. Uh, in that case, the only option is their destruction. Actually, I've never, uh, I've never, never, uh, done this before. Denounce. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Alright. Well, that's going to be, uh, that's going to be the next, uh, next action, I think. Or I might wait five turns so that I can make it a, a formal war and get a, a light warmonger penalty instead of a heavy one. Or, I mean, uh, moderate. It's a possibility. Alright, I haven't, in fact, gone to war yet. <laughs> Bear with me. But I am going to, uh, create this, uh, cultural district thingy right here. And I do know that'll remove the rainforest, which isn't great, but it does get plus two for the, uh, for the culture, so I'm hoping that's worth it. <laughs> Ooh, and I get a, get a promotion for this guy. Very nice, very nice. <laughs> uh, you, why do you need orders? Huh. Interesting. Well, he can go there. Anyway. Uh, you, you can just fortify until healed, you can just fortify in general, <laughs> alright, I think I'll, uh, I'll take a little bit of exploring around here, because, as it turns out, the, uh, <laughs> the Scythians have sent one of their, uh, one of their horse archers over to this city down here, who I don't think was otherwise defended. So that could pose a problem. I am bringing an archer down to help out with this one, but other than that, it's a little bit, a uh, little bit tricky for this for this situation here. However, <laughs> that means that there is one less archer over here, and that can only be a good thing. <laughs> so I think we're pretty much ready. Now I do want to. Uh... Hmm. Oh, oh. More horses. That's a bad thing. Huh. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, that, that, I don't know about that. That makes me nervous. What's this one? Uh, Eph Ephesus. Okay. Uh, what should I make with this guy? Hmm. I need a builder pretty desperately, and it's only five turns here, so that's pretty decent. Alright, uh, you can fortify. Now, what are the world rankings? Domination. The Scythians are 162, and I am 445. <laughs> However, a fairly sor substantial portion of my of my beefiness is over here, and not over here. I mean, most of it's here, of course, but uh, not all of it. So I would reckon we're down to about 300 here, maybe? Still, that's that's enough to wipe the floor with them pretty thoroughly. Hmm. How long until I can declare a war? I don't want them to strengthen up too much. <laughs> uh, t available in two turns, okay. Well, I shall wait the two turns. Now, <laughs> now we're going to uh, do this. <laughs> Alright. Declare war. <laughs> uh, <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> All right. <coughs> Sorry. All right. Uh huh. In that case, now is the time to strike. 
Well, we have the advantage. <laughs> uh huh. Need to get rid of all these obnoxious horse people because they're actually really dangerous. Ha <laughs> ha! Actually, I should have just attacked with him. That would have one shot him. Wow. <laughs> all right. Uh, in that case, I think I can switch with him. No, he can't move. Never mind. <laughs> in any case, I can move him here, and that'll buff his resistance, maybe. Or maybe not, I don't know. Either way, it'll buff his attack, and that's useful. And then, that works. <laughs> Time to take a few swings at those barbarians. Or, I guess, warriors, but whatever. Actually, that did, didn't do a whole lot of damage. <laughs> oh well. Uh, you can stay there for the moment and just buff attack. That works. Now, the invasion force. <laughs> you, there. Uh, you, there. You, there. You, there. And you, there. Alright. That's an advancement. <laughs> You, uh, I'm going to fortify. And you, I'm going to fortify. I don't think that gives you a penalty to movement. Um, when you, when you next move, it just starts you healing, as opposed to skipping turn. Um, okay. Oh yeah, dang it. This guy over here. Ah, oh, whatever. We'll see how this works out. I can't believe I wasted that turn for the, uh, for the other front, though. <laughs> is a little foolish. Hmm. He does look a little injured there. Those guys have a lot of range, though. That's that's the main problem with that. However, we're uh, we're still okay. And besides, they they uh, they can be pretty well uh, pretty well beamed by my guys. <laughs> oh, hey. <laughs> um, actually, you exit and move. You. Uh, if I moved here, could I still range attack? I'm guessing not, and they could catch me anyway. Quit thought. <laughs> Get him! Alright. Now, we're back to here. Ooh, hmm. <laughs> okay. You. Him. Okay. That's great. Uh huh. Okay. Now you you need to go there, and then with that extra damage, I should be able to get that guy dead. Not quite. <laughs> oh yeah, it did. It it did one shot him. Awesome. I wasn't quite sure if that would actually work, but looks like we are uh, superior. <laughs> okay. Now that's great. Uh, you. Can move there to fill his space. Keep boosting the damage. Damages. <laughs> if I move you there, will I then have another action? Nah. That's fine. Don't care. This guy. Attack the city center. Slightly inefficient there. Should have moved him into uh, <laughs> this spot first. <laughs> Uh, I can, uh, whatever, whatever. I'll live. <laughs> they won't, but I will. You, uh, are fine there, because I can't move you. Okay, how about this thing? Still, uh, uh, huh? I think we're going to still be moving a little here. So I'll just, uh, whatever, fortify's fine. Fortify's fine. And next turn. Alright. This is going well, actually. I need to see how uh, how dead that guy is, though. That's my main concern here. <laughs> oh, they brought in a, another archer to, to be to be beaten up. <laughs> ah, it's, it's no matter. He will be missed, but not badly. <laughs> I cannot imagine He's just too replaceable. Too replaceable to be uh, concerned with. 
I do have things to pick here though, so I'll be back in a moment. Okay, this time I'm doing it cleverly. You are going to move there. And then you are going to move there. And then he is going to attack. <laughs> Alright. How much? How was that? Uh, 11 city center damage. I see. And he can't really do anything, so fortify away. Okay. How much can I boost these guys now? <laughs> I'm thinking right. Uh, you. Okay. If I move, if I move him there, and then I move him, say there, then I can attack with a bonus there. Cool. <laughs> and he can't really do anything. He can't reach. He can move over there. And then maybe take out the scout, funnily enough. Okay. Fortify for now. I want to take some damage off my hands, so you can go away. Awesome. <laughs> okay. You. Ooh, I could pillage something. <laughs> nah. If I move him there, then I can move him there, I could, nope, then I can attack the city. <laughs> cool, cool. Uh, he cannot do much. He is going to stay there. I want you to ranged attack on that guy. Oh yeah. <laughs> I think he's weak. And I think that's my turn for now. Awesome. They they swapped uh swapped out some horses. <laughs> Got new ones. And they're trying to take trying to take that one out. Luckily I have many. <laughs> They're expendable, and he's not even quite dead yet. Almost, just not quite. <laughs> okay. Oh. Um, yeah, that's that's my turn then. I'll deal with productions. There seem to be rather a lot of them. <laughs> and then uh, get back to you. Actually, probably I'll get back to you in the next episode. This, uh, this war is taking a nice turn. <laughs> and I suspect we'll be fairly happy fairly soon. But that'll have to wait until the next episode, because I'm out of time for now, and uh, the episode's out of time. So hopefully you enjoyed this one, and we will see you in the next one. Take care, and bye-bye.